Hello there, Chaz here, and I am going to be playing Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. I kind of sort of picked this up on a whim. Um, I kind of like the look of it. Uh, it seems like a really relaxing game, and it is a really relaxing game. So, you know, win-win. So, um, there is no music playing right now, uh, mostly because I don't want to get copyright content claims on YouTube. Uh, I was playing, I, you know, I've played this for a few hours and I quite like it, but I've decided to raise my profile and start a new. So, I'm going to be Chance Sarah, that's my profile name. I'm not going to be playing expert mode. Uh, there is like, you know, stuff like, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, auction fee, a thousand dollars, no tutorial on new game, no jobs. Yeah, no, I'm I'm still very much an inexperienced uh, mechanic, so I'm gonna keep all that on, or I'm gonna I'm gonna be in not expert mode. All right, start a new game. And I'll skip the tutorial because I've already done that a couple times. So there should be a way for me to skip the tutorial anyways. Skip tutorial. Right so. So, this is my garage. Um, you will hear the phone ringing a few times, that's because it's basically stocking up with missions. Um, it'll stock up to four missions at one time. I say missions, but basically it's just customers. So let's check the phone and see what we've got. We have a Royal, a Royal Bianco with sloppy car steering. A part list is provided for helping us uh, figure out what's wrong with it. So let's take it. Oh, another one. Uh, replace timer related parts. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'll take this one. And it has to load the car, so, you know, we'll... I really should get an SSD at some point. Okay, so that's the Royal Bianco. Uh, and you know what? Uh, this game actually lets you take multiple jobs at once. So I'm going to go ahead and move that one over to the left lifter. And go back here and take another job to replace timer-related parts. And I think that should be good for the content of a single video. Just so that you guys can see how this game plays. Um, apparently, when you get to later stages, uh, you can you know go out to an auction house and uh, buy you know really old, worn out cars, and then you can sort of uh, refurbish them and sell sell them for a profit. I'm looking forward to getting to that point. Okay, so this one goes on to the right lifter. So let's check out this one first. I'm going to go ahead and open up the order. Uh, literally, the only thing wrong with it is the steering rack. So let's go ahead and get this lifted up. And, of course, you'll hear the phone going again as it uh, populates the uh, little backlog with more orders. Okay, so I'm going to go over to my computer and order a steering rack. So, apologies uh, as well for uh, not having put out any videos. Oop, that's my phone. Uh, apologies for not having put out any videos the past uh, couple weeks. Uh, this month is a super rough month for me, um, as I've mentioned previously. So I've been trying to psych myself up to play stuff, but I just haven't quite been able to do it. Okay, so you can see the really poor suspension there. And if you, here's the thing I found out: if you have trouble finding what parts are causing trouble, those at star here. And uh, when you're investigating a car, it will highlight the part that you need to change. My god, that phone. But yeah, um, July is always a rough month for me. So I've been kind of, you know, I keep going, I want to play, I want to play Fallout, I want to play Minecraft. I just, you know, I, c I can't quite figure out what I want to do. Uh, but uh, there is one thing I'm looking forward to this month, which is Quadrilateral Cowboy, which is finally coming out on the 25th. So be sure to look forward to a uh, Let's Play of that. I'm also probably going to be looking at Duskers as well. Okay, uh, enough rambling. Let's take off some wheels. So, examine the wheels. Unscrew the bolts. I do not claim to be a professional mechanic, so... Uh, 
many of the things I'm doing are probably not the right way to do them. But I am very, uh, you know, I'm very fascinated with cars and the way they work. And, you know, uh, I also have problems with cars, but I mean, that's, uh, relating to stuff from, like, ten years ago now. A long story short, I was in a car accident, if you don't already know. But this doesn't involve cars going at high speeds, so, you know, I can, I can deal with this. I mean, there is a test track that you can, like, test cars on to see what's up with them. Okay, so let's go ahead and undo the tie rod. And over the, this side as well, undo the tie rod. Inner tie rods. Inner tie rod. And let's get that steering rack out. Then we go into assemble mode. We put in the new steering rack. And now we put everything back the way it was. If you need to move the camera around, clicking on different parts until you get up to the side, to the side that you need to work with uh, usually works pretty well. Okay, there we go. And now we have to put the wheels back on. Like I said, very relaxing game. I actually quite like this. Uh, let's see here. Got some fushy looking wheel there. Alright. Let's just bring that back down. I think this car is good to go. Yep. So that was $800 for the money spent on the job, and then you get a bonus of 50% of that for completed tasks, and another 50% bonus for completing the job. So $1,600 is ours. Alright, the other car that I'm looking at. Actually, let's see what other orders we've got. Just in case I need to fill in more time. Uh, these two are XP locked. And that's the engine power has failed, find and fix all engine problems. Uh, you know what, I'll just fix up one more car and I think that'll be good for one video. And the people like this, I might do more. I, I, I can't, I cannot claim to make any promises because I did that last time with the Minecraft thing and it ended up not working out well for me. Okay, so here we need to fix the water pump, timing belt, and belt tensioner. Alright. Well, already I can see that the water pump and the belt tensioner are looking incredibly fishy. So let's go ahead and get those out. Get rid of the serpentine belt. And now we get the water pump out. And we're going to have to get the crankshaft pulley out as well. So, And the idle roller A. And now we can take off the timing belt cover. And that reveals to us the timing belt, which also needs to be changed. So that's everything. Let's go over to the computer here. Actually, I need to check the order again. My memory is absolutely god-awful. So, it's a water pump, timing belt, and a belt, belt tensioner. Okay. Let's see here. Timing belt. Belt tensioner. And an I-4 water pump. Alright, cool. This should be a quick and easy job. So let's go ahead and go into assembly mode. Put that timing belt back. Put the cover back. I'm probably going to do a... Uh, wait, did I always say I'm probably going to do another Duskers video because uh, I'm getting into games that involve a lot of typing stuff. Again, no promises. Rough month. Whatever excuses I want to make. It's, uh, star is terrible. Alright. Put the serpentine belt on and belt tensioner. Tighten that in. And what bam! We are done with this car. 
$429. Oh, wait. Oh, I fucked up. Hang on a sec. I forgot one of the serpentine belts. Shh. The customer never saw that, okay? Right. So that's the basics of how Car Mechanic Simulator 2015 works. Like I said, I find it to be a really relaxing game. It's just nice, like, tinkering about with cars. Um, I'll probably keep playing on this file and, like, you know, get a bunch of money and XP and upgrade stuff and eventually get to the point where I can buy my own cars and then maybe I'll do some more videos of it. Anyways, thank you for watching. I shall see you later.